Hi, I'm Dr. Chan. I am a medical doctor from Singapore. In this video, I'm going to do a short tutorial on the glycemic index or GI of the different types of rice that we usually find in the supermarkets, including white rice, brown rice, black rice, red rice, basmati rice, wild rice, parboiled rice, also known as converted rice. So in this video, we're going to look at the GI, the glycemic index values of all these different kinds of rice. This video is part of a series of teaching videos that I have done on glycemic index, including the basics of GI, how GI is measured, where to find GI values of foods, how to use GI in guiding food choices, and many other GI related topics. So I shall not be repeating them here in this video. I shall leave the link to my teaching series on glycemic index in the description below. Strongly suggest that you go watch them if you have not already done so. So, in this video, I shall only be specifically covering the GI values, the GI range of these different kinds of rice. Let's start. Let's start with going to my recommended source for information on GI values of food. This International Glycemic Index Database website maintained by the University of Sydney in Australia, which has the most comprehensive database of GI values of foods. Let's put in the search query, rice. And here's the result. You can see that there are 346 records of all the different GI test results of different kinds of rice done in all the different labs around the world. From these 346 records, you can see that the GI of rice can be affected by many factors, including whether the rice is polished, what type of rice, example jasmine rice, basmati rice, arboreal rice, etc whether the rice has undergone any kind of special processing, example, parboiling, and also the cooking method, whether it was boiled, steamed, or cooked in a rice cooker. Don't worry, I have done the hard work of going through all these 346 records of GI testing done on the different types of rice to sieve out only the information relevant to this video. That is, focusing only on the records of GI test results on this rice types or categories. Let's start. GI is a scale. Foods with GI of 1 to 55 are categorized as low GI. 56 to 69 is medium GI. 70 and above is high GI. Let's start with white rice. I have sieved out from the database out of 346 records only the results on GI tests done on white rice in the database, regardless of the type of white rice whether it is jasmine white rice or basmati white rice, regardless of whether the white rice that was tested had undergone any kinds of additional special processing such as parboiling and regardless of the cooking method. I took the GI value result of each record found in the database and plotted them on this GI scale here with each green dot representing the GI value found in each record of GI testing done on white rice in the database. So you can see the range of GI value of white rice is very wide, but mostly in the medium to high GI range from the high 50s to 70s range of GI values. Next, let's compare the GI of polished rice, that is white rice, with whole grain rice, starting with the common brown rice. Regardless of the type of brown rice, whether it is brown jasmine rice, brown basmati rice, or other types of brown rice. Again, I plotted on this scale the GI value of each record that I can find in the GI database. Here's the results. And as expected, we can see that the GI of brown rice is in general lower than that of white rice. How about other types of whole grain rice such as black rice or red rice? Out of these 346 records, there was only one record of a GI test done on black rice in this database and none on red rice. So I had to search elsewhere for information for which there weren't that many as well. But based on whatever information that I could gather from other sources, red rice and black rice, which is also known as forbidden rice, tend to have a narrower range of GI values as compared to the much wider range of GI values of brown rice. And it is in the lower half of the range of GI values of brown rice. I intentionally did not represent the information for the GI values of red and black rice as dots in this scale, like I have done for white and brown rice. Because the GI information represented here for red rice and black rice didn't come from the same specific test results in the database like I have done for the GI information here on this scale for white rice or brown rice. Next, how about wild rice? Many people have asked me about wild rice and whether it is low GI. Technically, 
wild rice is actually not a rice. It belongs to a different family of plants, different from rice, but it is generally used like we do with rice and often compared with rice. There were four GI test records of wild rice in the GI database. The GI values of wild rice were in the mid 40s to mid 50s range. Next, let's compare the GI of different types of white rice. There are so many different ways to categorize white rice based on type or processing method, but I shall not be covering all of them in this video, but shall only focus on these two because these are the two that many people, especially my patients with diabetes, often ask me about. Let's start with white basmati rice. So these are the GI values of all the different lab tests done on white basmati rice. And you can see the range of GI values of white basmati rice in general falls in the lower half of the range of GI values of all white rice. Next, let's look at parboiled white rice as compared to conventionally processed white rice. Parboiled rice is also called converted rice. But for this video, I shall not go into the details of parboiled rice. I think the topic of parboiled rice is so interesting. There's so much to talk about. I shall do a separate video just on parboiled rice. Do look out for it. Let's look at the range of GI values of parboiled white rice. And in the database, I found four records on parboiled white rice with GI values in the 30s to 40s range, which is generally lower than conventionally processed white rice. So as you can see, GI of rice can have a very wide range and it's affected by many factors such as whether the rice is polished or whole grain, affected by the type of rice, whether it is basmati, jasmine or other types of rice, and also affected by how it is processed. The purpose of this video is focused on knowing the range of GI values of the different choices of rice commonly found in the supermarkets. And I strongly recommend that this video be watched together with all the other videos in my Glycemic Index video series in order to have a more complete picture and better understanding of glycemic index, how to use GI and how not to use GI in guiding our food choices. Link to the videos in the description below. If you have any GI related topics that I have not covered in my videos, do leave your suggestions in the comment section below. I shall do my best to make a video on it if possible. I am Dr. Chan. Let's continue to equip ourselves to unlock the power of our eating habits of food choices for health. Let habits be thy medicine. See you in my next video.